2017, the year of fulfillment, Saint Germain and one who serves. Saint Germain and one who serves channeled by James McConnell. Web pages, www.meetup.com, Ancient Awakenings. And, www.ancientawakenings.org. Note these messages were given during our special New Year's Eve channeling in Payson, Arizona on December 31st, 2016. One who serves. Greetings to you. One who serves here. As if you didn't know that. Some of you didn't know that. Some of you hear this crazy voice coming through in crazy accent and say, What is this? Who could this be? Is this an ascended master? Laughter. Well, you know we do not like that terminology anyway. The master term. Ascended is good. But we do not like being called master because we are no higher or no lower than you are. We are you and you are we. We are here to have a wonderful time are we not? And James is wondering, is he going to sing again? What do you think the answer to that is going to be? Brief pause yes. Laughter singing of celebration by Cool and the gang takes place. We are here for fun. When James asked a long time ago, what do you guys do for fun? We answered, we think by location is a lot of fun. Would you not like to be able to do that? To be able to buy locate and transport yourself into so many places? Think of these stupid cars you have and stupid contraptions and things of this nature. Very antiquated devices. You are going to have such fun in the future that we cannot tell you how great it is going to be. We try many times to tell you but it is like knocking head on the wall here. We do everything we can to help you understand what is coming. Before we look at what is coming, let us look where we have come from. Where you have all come from. Not only year after year but lifetime after lifetime where you have come from. You have been through so much and you grow weary over time and do not want to do it anymore. Then you hear us coming through telling you it is going to be soon. When you heard it will be soon and it was in the 2012 time, you heard it much then, and you thought it would be the next day. Here it is four years later and we are still saying soon. Laughter, please understand that our soon is different from your soon. We are here to help you understand all that you are coming to be. All that you are remembering yourselves to be. You have so much to look forward to. Where have you come from? We know that Saint Germain spoke a little bit about this. He spoke of changes that have occurred in each of your everyday lives. Movements, relationships have changed. You, yourself, can look at your life and say, this has changed over the year. Look at where you started this past year and look at where you are now. This gives you an idea of how much has changed within your own personal life. But then look outside your life. Look at the exterior world. Yes, it looks like there are wars and battles and things still going on. That is true. There is hatred and all of this that is occurring. But, you know deep within yourselves that it does not need to be there and will not be there much longer. Know that deep within you. All is coming. All is being orchestrated, as we have said many times. As it is all being orchestrated around you, you are not sitting and letting the orchestration take place. Within an orchestra everyone has to be in tune. What happens when one is out of tune? It sounds bad yes, it sounds bad, very bad. Everything is being orchestrated and you are in that orchestra. You are a part of it. Whether it is a string orchestra or piano or guitar or drums or whatever it might be. Whatever your part in the orchestra you play it the best that you can. If you can do the best you can every given moment what beautiful sound you are going to make, what wonderful vibrations are going to come from this. That is what this all about. Raising your vibrations higher and higher. Raising your individual vibrations higher and higher and as you raise your own individual vibration what happens? Everybody's rise. Yes. Everybody is ready to celebrate then. And speaking of celebrate, you have heard that there is a celebration waiting for you. 
There is a grand celebration that is waiting for you. We, the Galactics, the Agarthans, the Company of Heaven and all of the Masters have all created this wonderful celebration. We are waiting for you to do all that you can to make sure everything is as it needs to be. Just as we are waiting for you to shift over your consciousness and the consciousness of the entire planet. When one consciousness shifts, many shift. That is what you must to come to understand. When you do the meditation as you did here this evening you may have thought you were just creating that visualization and it doesn't have hardly any effect on anything. And we tell you, no. It has a great effect on the entire planet. Even those who don't have any idea about an effect on them are affected by these meditations. Imagine that many other groups like this get together at the same time and do a meditation similar to this or even a different one. But with the intention of creating vibration, raising vibration, of shifting consciousness across the planet then sending love, higher vibration to anyone. When you do this, you do it for everyone. Do you understand this? This is what you are working toward. As you are moving to this next year, did you think you would still be doing this in 2017? Those of you who were ready to jump on the bandwagon in 2012 and go into the clouds and think that was ascension? Those who thought that would happen and became so disconsolate at that time. You know who you are, who are like this. But you moved through it. Now you are here on the verge of a new year of 2017. This year has been spoken of by many, not only those of us who channel and give information in this way but many of your intel sources have been saying 2017, what a year to come. And we say to you, 2017 is going to be a celebration. You have moved through 2016, a year of preparation. Look at all that was prepared for in this past year. Not the least was the election process you went through. We and Ashira said this election would be like no election you have had before. That was correct. And we also said, if you remember, Hillary Clinton would never win the presidency. Those of you may not remember that we said this but we did. We did not say how this would happen or anything of this nature. But changes. Things that did happen in 2016 preparing you for them fulfillment of 2017. That is the word we want you going into 2017 with fulfillment. This is the year of fulfillment. Last year preparation, this year fulfillment. Moving ahead. Finding all those changes that are spoken of. All of those many events that are spoken of, what you call the revaluation, the global currency reset. The announcement of the Republic. What you call mass arrests of various kinds. There are so many things that you have been looking toward. The event. Let's not forget the event. What we like to call and certainly Saint Germain likes to call, the changeover. Because it will be a great changeover to a completely new paradigm. That is what is important here. As you move into the next year you are going to find so many things beginning to shift. They are going to gather momentum as they shift. More and more. Momentum. Momentum. This will create a crescendo and the crescendo will be the event. We are not saying the event will occur this next year but it certainly could. All indications are that 2017 will bring the event. But you know that when predications are given such as this, we put our foot in our mouth here. The shifts that are happening are because of you. Because of the idea and ideal that is building. This ideal is building throughout the planet even though you are not seeing it completely, it is building. No longer is it seeing is believing. It is now, believing is seeing. That is what is important. You are moving into that understanding. This new paradigm, believing is seeing. You are creating your reality every moment in front of you. Every moment. If you look at this and understand this you see how important you are in the entire scheme of things. No, you may not be directing a country or directing a corporation. You may not be directing anyone for that matter other than yourself. That is okay because your intent is to create the new reality. 
Your intent is to create a new golden age upon the planet. Because you have this intent, you are powerful. You are powerful beyond measure. That is what you must come to understand. Okay you want predictions? We are going to go a little bit further. The others are over there saying watch it, guy. You are really going to put your foot in your mouth here if you do it too much. Laughter we are going to give just a little bit more, okay? In this next month here, in January, there is going to be a shift. A shift that is going to come about as the inauguration happens. This is a hint. There is a shift that is going to occur because of this. Not so much that this one, the president is going to create the shift himself. He is surrounding himself by those who can bring this about and can help with this process. With them working with him and him working with us, that is a big hint as well. He is going to be working directly with us and has already begun the process. He is not part of the cabal. He is not a part of this. He has a connection yes, but he is not a part of this. He is of the light. Just as Obama was of the light as well. He has always been of the light. He has never not been. Just because he has appeared to be, as he has done those things he had to do. He has played the part of the dark forces or cabal. He kept them off his back so that he did what he needed to do. He needed to bring the changes. Look at what it would be like to have the same mold, same mold. If it was the same regime here. If he were to have come into office and be a puppet to those in control, if he did everything they would have said. Nothing would have changed here. They would have taken more and more control over everything. Because he had his mission and he knew his mission. He had guidance from us and many galactics were working with him. He created this entire shift that has led to the possibility of the election of this new one. This new one moving into office here and really beginning to make some shifts here. Now this is not to say that he Trump is going to create the republic and bring the republic in. It may not be him to do this. It may be coming in different ways. And also, disclosure, may not only be about your galactic brothers and sisters but also disclosure of the truth. Hasn't the truth been coming out? Look at it. Look at what has been coming out from those various sources. The whistleblowers that are coming forward now in droves. We said some time ago that the cabal has only been able to cover leaks here and there. Now the leaks are spreading everywhere and they do not have enough rags to put in them anymore. The holes are too big and they are spouting water energy, spirit everywhere. They cannot move fast enough or find enough rags to put into those holes. You see? You see where we are going with this? It is a cascade. The dam is about to break. They can no longer stop it. They have tried everything they have known to do. Everything that has worked in the past. It is no longer working for them. They have not given up but they are becoming very disconsolate. They are very much subdued in what they can do. They know the end is near. Have you heard of those who are looking for various places outside this country? They are going to many different places. South America. Antarctica is the new one here where they are going in droves there. Trying to escape what is coming. But really, think about this for a moment. Do you really think they could escape those of us? Or the watching eye of the galactics up in the ships that can see everything that is going on down here? Do they really think they could go into a H somewhere and think it is lead lined or something? Laughter, no. Not even close to this. They will not escape but, and this is a big but here people, they have already been given the chance to turn themselves over. To turn themselves in and over to the light. If they agree to do this, many have already, but the ones in the forefront, they are stubborn ones. Many will hold on until they find themselves consumed by the light. If they do not move to the light they will be consumed by the light. That is a promise. That will happen. They are given that opportunity and are still being given that opportunity. It will not happen too much longer. At one point the Prime Creator will come into the picture again and say, that's it. Enough is enough and push the green light. 
The Guardian spoke of the green light. The Prime Creator pushed the green light but it was not the one you were thinking of, that bought the event. It was the green light that said all systems go now. That is what he was saying by this. All systems go. So all of those ships that are circling the planet, monitoring the planet, have been put on full alert. They are ready to go. They are ready to come down and show themselves. When that moment comes they are ready to take over the airwaves on this planet, and we mean completely taken over, they will be in complete control of your media waves. There will be nothing that can stop this from happening when this green light is given. Will it come with the event? Yes. When the event occurs, when this pulse comes from the central galactic sun you will have your event. This will be it. Up until that there will be many many events that will be happening. One that has been happening is a wave of energy that has come forward now. It is hitting the earth across the planet, it is spreading across the planet. It is raising consciousness everywhere. It happened over your Christmas season. It is continuing to come in and more of these energies are going to come in. These are the many events we are speaking of which will trigger many others occurring. Those include disclosure of real truth behind everything. You have been kept from the truth in many ways where everything is happening in the background. But you are beginning to see what is coming from the background into the foreground. Because of your collective consciousness you are bringing this about. You are saying, we want the truth and we can handle the truth. Laughter, they the cabal are still trying to tell you that you, people, are so stupid and are so asleep that you cannot handle the truth. So we are going to not give you the truth, we are going to hold it back. We will give it out little by little over the next 50 years. Then we can save our buttes. Are you going to allow them to do that? No. Take control here people. Take control. You can control this. You are the 99 something percent here. They are the 1% of the 1%. Think about that. Think 7 billion to 1. That is almost the relationship here. You see? You have power and they have done almost anything to keep this power away from you. But empowering movies have come through. Movies such as The Matrix, Avatar, Contact, you can think of many other of these types of movies. They have come forward to give you glimpses of what is real and what is coming. We tell you now that in this 2017, get ready. We have been saying for some time to get ready for the show, have we not? Are you ready for the show? Are you really ready for the show? Because as the show begins here it may appear to some that the show is not going to be very pleasant. It will not be pleasant for those who are still asleep. Those who are not ready to awaken. That is where you, the light workers, come in. The missions you came here for. All of you. All of you came here. Certainly if you are listening to these words, if you are resonating to these words you came here for this mission. You came here to be a part of spreading the light. To be a part of spreading the violet flame. You are here to speak with those who are opening up and there will be many who are ready to open. Those who scoff at you now, and say you are loony bins, they will be turning around and saying, wait a minute you have been talking for some time now. We are ready to hear more. You will turn to them and say, sure. We are ready to serve and to help you in any way we can. You can use your own words or those words. You can be there to assist them in understanding all the things you have come to understand. And why they are here in this particular time and this particular moment. That is what we will close with now. You are in the moment. This is your moment. This is your time here now. Make the best of this moment. Each and every moment. Many go through life looking for moments of joy wherever they can but we have told you, look for the joy in every moment. Because the joy in each moment is always going to be there if you look hard enough for it. Shanti. Peace be with you. Be the one.